How's it going, everyone? Um, Christian here, obviously from my channel. But, so, I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera. Um, I took the whole motor apart, well, kind of the whole motor. Um, I've already gone ahead and degreased a lot of stuff. To be honest, I haven't really touched the car too much because there's still just a lot of stuff that I need to take care of, like uh, painting, like, well, at least like cleaning up and painting the block and painting like, like all the old stuff that needs to be refreshed, which that's what we're gonna do for this video. Um, I've already painted the block and, um, give me one moment. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. So, here is the refreshed block. I've already gone ahead and sprayed that the silver aluminum uh, refreshed the, uh, the routing for the heater core. I do have, let me see. I've got a head, I've got another head over there. I've got a bunch of 240 crap over here, a bunch of crap up. I got, I spray painted the oil, uh, oil pump and then I painted another coolant hose that goes like that. So what I do need to do is I need to clean up the pulleys. I need to, well not the pulley, I need to clean up the brackets, all that crap I need to, uh, I think in this video I'm gonna actually paint all of my piping like a wrinkle black because it was all kind of painted black before and I tried, I tried my best to polish them um, a little bit. Let me see if it'll show up in video. Yeah, you guys see all those scratches? I think it looks like trash. So, and to be honest, I have a wrinkle black spray, uh, spray paint. Um, I wanted to polish everything. I don't think that's the move for this, for this at least right now. Um, what else? I think that's really it for the video, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting everything. I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me, I guess, prepping it all. I have my face heater warming up the garage. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get to work. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with intercooler piping because honestly, I don't think I need to do that much. Um, oof. So I don't have to do too much. I can I kind of just need to scuff up everything and to kind of just get it to look nice. And for those of you asking, I'm gonna go black couplers. Uh, in my opinion, I like the black couplers a lot better. I think it gives it a cleaner look. Um, plus, I don't like blue. I think blue couplers look cheap. I think it makes it look too universal. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all my couplers off, get everything as scuffed up and ready as I can. I think this is actually almost good. Um, I think I'm just gonna sand it down, just get it rough and nice, and I might bring it down to, I might try to get it a little bit of a uh, smoother finish. Maybe closer to something like this, so we'll see, but. Cue time lapse. finish of wet sand or of wet and dry sandpaper. It goes from here, it's easier with this. Um, 80, 180, 220, 320, 400, and 600. I did that so that way I could scuff this up, 
make sure everything was good. Um, I'm debating on wrinkle blacking this. I might do, I might wrinkle black the actual block. Besides the anodized top, I can take apart that, but I kind of want to do an anodized black. I think that would look super clean. So, or not anodized black, I wrinkle black on this. But I'd have to clean everything up and we'll see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, but let's go ahead and get everything all uh, scuffed up. Okay, so now that everything is scuffed up, I need to go ahead and degrease everything. So I'm actually going to spray the block out. So I actually took apart the whole block. Um, for the most part, it was, I just had to undo the two bolts that held it in to the intercooler pipe. And then I just took off all of the hex bolts or Allen key bolts that, uh, that held it to, uh, to the bluff out stuff, and then this just actually pushed out. So, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm gonna spray this with brake cleaner to get rid of whatever is in here, and then I'm actually going to mask off the um, any of the surfaces that end up um, getting a gasket on. That way, everything is completely sealed, everything's flat. I don't have to worry about any leaks or anything like that. So, I'm gonna do that on here. I'm gonna do that on here as well. But besides that, I mean. Everything turned out nice. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah. So, blow off valve gets brake cleaner, and then it also gets wax and tar remover. Everything else, I'm going to do acetone just to kind of, you know, make sure, and then I will do um, wax and tar remover. So, cue when I'm ready to paint. All right, guys. So as you can tell by the mask, me shaking the cans, uh, this can of Wrinkle Black, some VHT Wrinkle Plus, um, I've got the intercooler piping all set up in the air. <laughs> this is kind of my contraption. Um, nothing crazy. Uh, I just kind of have everything up on um, fishing line. Got the blow-off valve uh, housing right there, some other piping, and that just didn't want to hang on its own, so I'm really hoping that vacuum line holds. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started on painting.
Okay guys, we're back. Um, took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I don't know why, because I've been through a paint job like this many times before. Uh, it's currently 1.50 in the morning. I started this around, I want to say 11.30ish. Probably sooner. Uh, yeah, so, excuse me if I seem tired or a little dysfunctional. Uh, I hope I don't ramble on too much at the end of this video, but I'm probably gonna end it here, guys. Um, let me show you guys what, uh, how everything turned out. <laughs> I did have some stuff end up falling because of um, fishing line and weight distribution and blah, 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 blah. Resprayed some stuff and I'll say this. A lot of this actually turned out really good. Like, this is the part that comes off the turbo. And, oh man, like, little nicks here and there that I kind of had to respray, but to be honest, like, this looks awesome. This actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I'm thankful that I did that I actually decided to go wrinkle black. Everything looks absolutely killer. I am it's super awesome. Blows my mind. Um, I think one of the best pieces is the actual bluff valve. Um, the bluff valve itself is a little bit worn. Um, this is, I believe, from the CX Racing kit. But look at how that turned out. Oh man, I'm actually I'm actually super stunned at how well this this looks. I actually masked off the vacuum line. Um, all the actual mounting surfaces were were um, masked off as well. But man, it looks killer. Absolutely killer, super sick. Uh, like I said, can't wait to uh, put this all in the car. But here, I'll give you guys actually a, um, a little walk around of what I've done so far on the actual KA. Uh, give me two seconds. Okay, so like I've said, I've already gone ahead and painted the block, painted this, painted that. I've painted the oil pan, like the, the oil, um, oil, pick, uh, oil pump. I picked up the oil pump. It's like the timing chain oil pump cover piece. But yeah, painted all that. Um, I have the S14 uh, KA uh, head for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap those on. Well, I'm gonna slap that on after I get my ARP head studs in. Um, I need to clean off the top of the head. Right now, I just have it all masked off that way. Everything's all nice and clean. I didn't get any paint on the surface and everything like that. I, uh, everything looks absolutely killer. Like, I love how everything turned out on this. Like, let's see. Like, oh man. I can't wait to have this all look, uh, like, back in the car with, like, the machine black, uh, with, like, the machine silver aluminum look. I also had um, wrinkle black the, I think it's the alternator pulley. I believe that's the alternator pulley. It should be the alternator pulley. Um, I've already done that. I have new gaskets in. I, what I still need to do is I need to put together the whole motor. I need to, well, I have all the gaskets. Like I said, I'm gonna rebuild the motor. Well, not rebuild, but I'm gonna refresh the motor. Give it a, a nice little, nice little done, uh, like, just make it look all nice, make it run properly. There was, um, I already double checked everything. Um, I wish I had recorded, but the heads look good. Well, both heads, my S13 head and my S14 now head, everything looked good, intake manifold's clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, polish that up a bit. I actually looked at the main bearings and, well, not the bearings themselves, but I looked at the, if there's any play, how the cylinders were, how the, um, how the pistons looked. Pistons just have a bunch of carb buildup, which is normal for this old of a motor. Um, so essentially, I'm just gonna brake clean everything inside. And when I have everything all set up and ready for this motor to be to go back in, to run for the first time, everything will be lubricated properly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna refresh all the, everything that's gonna be on the motor. Uh, the motor, uh, the engine bay itself, literally the same. I have not touched it. Don't want to touch it just yet. I want to finish the motor because I'd rather the motor not be as torn apart as it is right now. I want to make sure that everything is sealed, everything is covered. That way I don't have to worry about it later. 
All right, guys. I think that's where I'm gonna end it here. Um, been a long night, but remember guys, if you guys are new, go ahead and leave a like, comment below, uh, subscribe maybe if you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, let, me go, let me know what you guys think. Uh, my friends have been saying that they've been watching my content and enjoying what I've been doing. Um, they like the progress of seeing the 240 and all the work I put in, and it, I guess it's interesting to them. I, I've never known that. But sorry guys for not recording as much as I should. Like I said, um, it's hard for me to record. It's not really my first instinct. Um, usually when I get right into it, I just go balls to the wall kind of thing. Uh, I should have recorded taking apart the motor. I didn't because I was too excited to get it all apart. But I'm gonna start working on that, guys, because I really wanna create more content for you guys, and I also wanna just have progress of what I've done so far to the 240. Um, I think I've done quite a bit since I've owned the car. Um, I'm actually super excited to really dive into YouTube a little bit more. But anyways, guys, like I said, I think this is where I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.